Hi Taurus, this is Kelly from Goddess Power Tarot to do your love reading for April 2019. This reading is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just remember it's a general reading. Okay, let's get started with your reading. Past position, Six of Pentacles. Um, reciprocity, somebody you were dealing with, possibly only giving you crumbs in a connection or in the relationship um, in the past. Um, not really getting too much from them, just bits and pieces here and there, and you know, you giving the same in return. It wasn't like a full forced energy. The moon Pisces card here could have been dealing with the Pisces or water sign. Um, or just someone who, you know, a little bit shady in their behavior. And so when I'm saying that they were giving you crumbs, um, there was something I feel that was happening with that person or the connection between you, like not all was being revealed. Bits and pieces here. Your current situation is the King of Cups. Okay. So again, water sign energy even if it's not a water sign they can have water dominant in their chart or the king of cups is just someone who is pretty relaxed poised um doesn't share his emotions often but he is a very emotional person keeps it more within okay uh does possess that watery energy when it comes to sharing his emotions he could have a moon his moon sign could be water, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. A uh, person is, I see that currently they are, they are open to you, okay? The trouble is that it's really difficult for them to make an effort or to put effort into the connection with you. Why? Well, they're mostly focused on um, sex, a sexual connection. Not so much. I mean, there's a potential here, or there has been, and there still is a potential for, you know, expansion and growth in the physical sense with that. Okay. Um, this person is just very, you know, their emotion, they, they express their emotion through physical act more so than anything, and especially with you. Um, their challenge is to put effort into the relationship. Three of Pentacles with the Eight of Pentacles try to put you know to communicate that they they're not a very good communicator is what I'm picking up here this person um, as far as like you ask them or telling them that you know you want more out of the relationship you know you want to see something some time some effort you want to see some energy not just a you know a physical connection the other that's not lacking okay the emotional aspect is lacking the connection with this person is lacking um, in a lot of different ways what's driving you now is the page of pentacles uh, trying to get them to see the value in you and i feel like look the king of cups fell out again you know i don't think it's that they don't see your worth i feel like you're trying to apply a medicine to the wrong illness <laughs> okay i feel like communication that you have had with them in the past or what drives you to communicate with them is for them to open up and i feel like honestly what, what like what really is standing out to me is that they do communicate their emotions but they communicate through physical acts they communicate they don't say i love you but they show it in ways they touch you, affection, or, you know, um, things that maybe like little gifts, you know, or even just giving their support. It's just this energy, this person that you, you're dealing with. And I feel like what drives you to communicate with them, King of Cups he just sits there, stoic look on his face. He doesn't really say too much. When he, when he does say something, though, it's profound and emotionally. And what's crowning you with the Knight of Cups? Because you want some type of offer or proposal of commitment or of um, anything. They don't really, you know, this person, I feel like, hasn't really done that for you in the past. Nine of Pentacles is here, okay? So, you know, you're tired of being single. You're tired of just, even if you're with them, you're tired of feeling alone in the relationship. Now, what's coming forward? Queen of Pentacles, that's your energy, okay? I see you somehow, some way, 
you know, you're still being in your abundance. But I feel like, well, let me clarify. Yeah, I just feel like you're going to let this connection go. I really feel like you're going to let it go. You're going to grieve um, because it's just not enough for you. It's not that this person's a bad person. It's just that you want more. You want more, and that's your energy. Whether it's okay or not, it's irrelevant. I feel you're just going to let them go. Probably sometime in April, there's an energy of um, needing to let go of this connection in order to be in that abundance that you need to be in, in order to feel the weight lift. Okay, your advice here, three cups, you need to um, rely on the support of your friends. You need to um, really just let this person go, go out and socialize, go out and have fun, go out and date other people. Or even if you don't want to date because you're grieving, uh, just be around others who are in celebratory positive mode, okay? Who just go out and enjoy um, things in their lives. Okay, the emperor energy is here, you know, taking on that boss babe attitude, being the king of your castle, going forward and enjoying. I did a reading for you before this, and it didn't upload and I just scratched it, the whole thing, and pulled brand new cards, and it's coming out exactly the same. So I really feel like your message, Taurus, since I've done this twice, is this, these energies here. The Emperor is here. Yeah, because, look, that, this whole situation, you're trapping yourself by staying involved with this person who is just not giving enough for you. It's just, I really feel like it's just really not a great match at least in April, there's a realization that it's just not a great match. There's love here to be had for you. There's there's the Two of Cups. There's somebody in your periphery. It could be an, uh, a, an earth sign in your periphery that's coming forward for you that has what you need. Another earth sign. Another Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Okay. Your person, though, you watch you. They're watching every move you make. They're watching you right now. They're stalking you. Not, it may not be creepy energy, but I feel like actually that they're definitely going to be messaging you about you ending this connection, that they don't want you to end it. Okay. Um, this person, I do feel that they, they have emotional contentment in their life. Okay. Um, but they want that 10th cup. And that's with you. And they just feel like they don't have to put any energy into the connection because they, they felt like they've already had you. But I do feel you are a wish for them. <laughs> and I know that kind of makes it hard for you to, you know, it's, it's it's hard for me to tell you to walk away. Well, I'm not telling you to walk away. I just feel like your energy is going to be that you'll be walking away. And I know that it's something that you probably don't want to do, but you may need to grieve, cut your losses for April. I feel like um, they, they're going to reach out and message you if you do that and tell them and tell you, you know, they aren't, are, I mean, they're satisfied with things in their life, but... They are going to tell you that they're missing that 10th cup they've got all nine, but they're missing that one and you are that one. The problem is that you want two. You want it to be two cups, not one. It's not just all about them. I don't see them accepting love offers from anyone else, honestly, in their energy. I think they get them. They're going to be watching you, especially if you're walking away. Your hopes and fears you know, you want communication from them, but you fear that they're not going to, you know, see the light. You're, you're the light. You're holding it up for them. You're, you know, you're the light that shines the rope, shines the path to your, for them, to your front door. They know that. They do know that. I just feel like they're kind of like, they're just stagnant. You just have this stagnant energy. They've given you bits and pieces, and it's just not enough. 
Although I will tell you, at the end of the reading, I do see reconciliation. I do see them trying to come back and them being open to you and um, making some type of an offer here. It's not overly emotional because that's not their energy, but it is like a, um, the Knight of Pentacles does come across to me as an energy as someone who makes it like a, a valid offer, something tangible, something real. I don't see them chasing you. I see them watching you. I don't see them getting on their horse like a valiant, you know, Knight of Wands energy or Knight of uh, Air. I feel like they're slow and steady. They will be slow and steady in their approach, but judgment is, that's reconciling. That's coming, that's opening up, being vulnerable, telling the truth, calling you in. King of Pentacles energy here. Okay, so you guys, you you know, you I feel like you've got two. You have an earth sign coming towards you, and you also have um, this water sign coming back around. Okay, um, yeah, so let me just clarify, I'm splitting this. The earth sign that's coming towards you, um, very open, wanting to reconcile. Um, the other sign, whomever it is, uh, it's a toxic kind of, it's, it's a toxic relationship. Okay. So these, so let me summarize. Okay. If it's one person, if it's, you're just one person coming back around, um, here you are just letting go and gaining your abundance, that person watching you and coming back around, them making us a, a valid offer, uh, about that they are, you know, they can't let you go, okay? Them seeing you as this here, very stable energy, you know, giving you what you want because the page of, page of Pentacles making an offer. I'm sorry, the Knight of, Knight of Pentacles making an offer to the King of Pentacles. You're the King of Pentacles, okay? Male or female. The King of Pentacles stays in the Pentacle energy. The Knight of Pentacles is them giving you that Pentacle. That's what you want, opening up because they can't let go. In terms of this person, if it's a water sign you were connected to in the past, um, I feel like they will make an offer, but they're still the energy is still toxic. If it's this, another earth sign coming in for you, you've let go of the water sign, holding on to the earth sign coming in. Um, this person could be someone from your past you reconcile with, or this is someone new coming in who's very open and wants something real and true with you. All right. So there's two messages going here. Some of you may relate to that, resonate with it. Some of you may not. And let's take a look at what your love message is here. A whole bunch. Reconciliation, make the effort, heart-to-heart -heart conversation, soulmate connection, there's playfulness here, finances and career. You've got someone who works very hard, is very focused on their career, but this is your soulmate, whoever you're thinking about, right at this very moment, stop, think, who is it? That's your soulmate. Probably why the connection is difficult, because it's a soulmate. I'm seeing reconciliation here, as I was saying making the effort this could be with that water sign okay making the effort having true heart-to-heart -heart conversations similar to judgment opening up having that conversation there's a playful energy as a result from both of these or just one person i know this sounds a little conflicting but this is what happens when a reader does a reading and there's a lot of different energies coming in <clears throat> when we have different <clears throat> excuse me uh, court cards playing playing here so we have two king of cups and we have a king of pentacles and a queen of pentacles okay so there is definitely an energy here playing out with earth and water capricorn all the signs are here but mostly earth and water wait don't rush into anything allow nature to take its course in this situation emotions are a natural and necessary part of life but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision in order to see things clearly you have to let go of resentment especially if this person comes back around to you and tries to connect with you again um, 
heal. Heal first before you say anything. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. The past is behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available for you to follow. Follow it with faith. So that's for those of you who decide to let go of this water sign and open up to the earth sign. Who I do feel is the better option for you, at least in April. Okay, so we have a lot of different cards here. A lot of different energies playing out. So take what resonates for you. Don't try to make anything fit. If it's a little confusing, you know, leave your comments below. I'm sure somebody will clear it out for you. I'll try, if I need to clarify a bit more for you, I'll try to do that. I probably won't because I really don't have time to do the comments too much. But let me just cap real quick before I end the reading. Some of you are dealing with a water sign that you need to let go of. You let go of this person. They come back. They try to reconnect with you and make a valid offer to you. Knowing what you want, they try to give that to you, but the energy is still toxic, okay? Um, however, however, I do pick up that they will tell you that they don't want you to go. There is a bond here. There is a connection here. It's difficult for them. They don't want to lose it. And so I do feel they will start trying to open up and give you what you want, okay? The other scenario is that that water sign does come back and you realize that it's not going to work. Meanwhile, an earth sign comes in and opens up to you and is ready for you because the two of cups is here behind the five of cups. Okay. And they, you know, it, all you have to do is turn around and see. Okay. So there's two separate energies, you know, playing out here several different scenarios. Listen, if you want to get a personal reading from me in this situation, if you're still confused, just join in to my live chats. I'm here Sunday through Saturday, 2 p.m., where I answer questions for $15, and I'm also here Monday through Thursday, 7 p.m., all Eastern Standard Time. I also answer questions at evening, or you can join me on the Instinct Go app and get questions, phone calls. We can talk go through your reading, go give you a reading, figure out what's going on and what the best steps are for you. Okay, Taurus, hope you have a very beautiful, beautiful April, and I will see you soon. Okay, bye.